What's going on, Mark? Is there a coyote on my roof? What are you up there? I gotta get the drift camera mounted so that we can get some sweet shots of the traverse breaking through all this environment here. Backcountry Montana, I gotta take advantage of getting some of these awesome specialty cam shots. Right after this, I'm gonna do the, like the Jurassic Park T-Rex through the sunroof thing. Rawr! It is ice cold. I don't know, like I'm just getting up to like my calves here. Uh, you know, kind of getting in the water a little bit. There's some places you have to get in the water to keep moving upstream. But I, I can't imagine what Coyote's feeling right now. He's all the way up past his waist already. That's absolutely freezing cold. Oh, that is cold. That is cold. Now, how are you doing going up river? Doing great. I love it. It's so much fun. It's beautiful. So I'm staying out of the water though. So I'm not chilly at all. Doing good. Look at that. It's a woolly bear. Mel loves her bears. I do love Do you my know bears. any facts about woolly bears? Um, don't they go a certain direction when they're hibernating? Yeah, no. It, well, you have to watch which direction they go to know where their head is. There's more black at the head oh. and less at the end, then it means that the beginning of winter is going to be a lot harsher than there the end. There you ends. go. So basically what you're saying is that Montana is headed for a harsh winter. Yes. Now the woolly bear predicts it every time. We wanted to prove to the audience that there were a lot of fish in the water. Wow, and yeah, there are definitely trout down in that water. I see a whole big pocket of them right here. Every time we would move the crew to a location where there were trout, they would vanish before we could even turn our cameras on. So I took it upon myself. I just grabbed one of our little extreme cameras that can go underwater. I put it on a monopod and I was just trying to be as stealthy as possible. It's just getting a camera in front of them was uh, nearly impossible, but hopefully we got some. It was more monotonous than anything. Sooner or later, we're gonna find that trout. Just watching him fail. Oh, I lost him. Fail and fail. That was close, did you see any of that? Attempt number 10. It's like, come on, is this ever gonna happen? Man, you know, I, I, I got a little too confident. I had him up in this corner. I thought, okay, he's not going anywhere. I got the net. Mark, you're in the water with me. That fish just started right around us, unbelievably quick. I must say, from the first pre-production meeting, talking about catching a trout with a shirt net in the middle of a, a river in Montana, I was probably the biggest naysayer. I was like, that, you, no, it's, it's just not gonna happen. There he is. There he is. There he is. Come on, left. Come on. I got him. Yeah, I got him. I got him. I'll let him go. That is a rainbow trout. All right, let's get him up here into the light. He pulled it off. I can't believe it, but he did. And there you have it. One beautiful rainbow trout. You're looking at two frozen fishermen right now. I cannot feel my toes at all. Thank you for finally catching this fish. <laughs> it took us almost four hours to catch one fish. I'm sorry that it got away out of my hands. The look on your face when it, <laughs> when it got away. I would high five you right now, but I don't want you to drop the fish. No, I don't want to drop the fish either. He's really <laughs> wanting to get back into the water at this point. Okay. Oh, your face is like, <laughs> I don't know if we got enough B-roll. I hope that we did. Um, it was an absolutely beautiful fish and what a cool experience. All right guys, all in team effort, high fives. <laughs> if you thought that was one wild adventure, check out these other animal encounters. And don't forget, subscribe to follow me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. This episode of Breaking Trail was brought to you by the Buy Power Card from Capital One. Every purchase brings you closer to a new Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, or Cadillac vehicle.